Hey everyone, it's about 2.55 in the afternoon. Yeah, I just got off work. I tell you, it was an unusual day today. Let's just put it this way. I was the second person in. Yeah. Now normally, if you're a smoke shop cashier, that means you got to be there at 5.30 a.m. along with the CSM, the customer service manager. Well, I was scheduled at 6, the CSM was scheduled at 5.30, and let's just say it wasn't the best scheduling. Now, something should have told me it was going to be a very unusual day just from that, and it was. Uh, long story short, I basically overstepped my boundaries a few times accidentally. Uh, one, to go use the restroom, because if you don't use the restroom, well, let's just say Mother, let's just say Mother Nature is going to visit you unexpectedly, and the customers are not going to like what they see or even smell. And that was my dog sneezing. The other, the other incident, the other incident was uh, the fact that we were having some lines getting long so I just naturally let instinct take over and decided to go to register number six unfortunately I forgot that you gotta ask a CSM or a manager to do that now verbally I was spoken to a few times but I I believe in a sense and I know God understands this because I, I prayed to him afterwards after the second incident and Thankfully, things were understood, but I believe God understands and that I was just doing, trying to do the right thing at the end uh, when the lives were getting long. And he also understands that, you know, when I have to go, especially with my, when, you know, when you have to go uh, to the restroom, you don't mean any harm in doing so. So... I just let, like I said, I just let uh, instincts take over and I accidentally overstepped boundaries, but it was a more understanding manner because the CSM wasn't, she was upset, but not to the point that she would pull me in, write me down and all that, no. And not to the point that, you know, she would, you know, basically, you know, not at the point to where it would ruin her, her whole day. No. You know, and it's not to the point that just seeing me there would get her more angry. It was more of an understanding. It's more of an understanding. Uh, basically, she, and I think she knows this, I believe she knows this, and I know, and I believe God knows she knows this, that she know that she basically understands I was just trying to do the right thing. You know, that... You know, with the restroom situation, yeah, I should have asked, but when you got to go, you got to go. So I'm sure she understood that. And then the whole long line situation, uh, I'm sure, I believe, you know, I, I honestly believe she understood that I was just helping out. So, yeah, I may have overstepped some boundaries today, but I think, one, when you combine the fact that she was the first one there by herself for a half hour. I'm the one that came in afterwards. And she was depending on me to do all this other stuff. That yeah, sometimes your brain gets a little fried just by <laughs> doing so much. And, you know, in so little time and, you know, all that. It's just like, sometimes you don't think before you act. And believe it or not, there have been times that I know I've seen other people like me in my job do the same thing and I'm sure there have been some CSMs not naming any that have done the same thing as well so but you know in the same manner that I have and that's basically just trying to do the right thing trying to help out and not trying to cause any trouble so but again I pray to God to, to God at the end of the day and things smoothed out and basically it's more like Okay, I mean, basically through the wording, if you could read between the words, it's more like, I understand you were helping, you know, but you have to understand that you need, it's like, basically it's like, I understand and appreciate you want to help and all that, but you have to talk to me first. Let me know this before you do it. So, 
It's, it's basically that. And everything's okay. It's, it's just been one of those days. And the scheduling needs to you know, really improve. But that said, after wasting about five minutes on that, let's get to what this video really is about. And that is a Midtown Comics package opening. That's right. It's a Midtown Comics package opening. Hmm, where I put this, I don't want to accidentally elbow it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's going to be worse. Yeah, here we go. Just put it here. Yeah, it's a Midtown Comics package opening. Right here. Midtown Comics. And as you can see on top, it says Priority Mail 2 Day. It's a 2 day Priority Mail. Actually, it was more like the three to seven day deal, but I guess they go two day. They have to change that on the system, basically make it like two to six day deal or whatever. And normally, when I get these, I, I usually go with the three to 12 day deal because it's cheaper. But I felt like, you know what? I want to stay up to date and I might as well test the waters of, you know, using a, a part of their service that gets the issues here faster and priority obviously does that. Now of course they got other options that are more expensive to where you could get something like, to where like let's say I could order something like off offline I mean online right now from them that let's say I can order something online from them right now and I could use the option to get it here tomorrow. So but I've decided to go with two day because if I'm gonna stay up to date with Worlds Unite. I want to make sure I get it as quickly as I can. So, what is in here? What, what did I get from Midtown? Well, I think I kind of hinted at it a few times in some videos, but let's be sure and see if that's exactly um, what it is. And you know, after a long day today, <laughs> I definitely deserve something to unwind with. Excuse me. Safety blade. It's been opened. And what is it? Well, we're going to pull out. Empty. As you can see. Empty. <laughs> And here's the bag. I'm surprised they don't do the Midtown ones anymore. I guess they ran out of them or saving money. Let's see what's inside. Of course, we have the. Whoops. We have the receipt. With the orders um, on top. As you can see. Well, it's got a bit of an advertisement as well. So let's see what they are. 
first up. Oh boy. It is, um, well, it's one of the covers, but it's not the, like, you know, on newsstand at comic shops cover, although it could be one of the co covers you get at comic shops. But it's not, like, like I said, the on newsstand kind of deal, what you get if you're a subscriber. This is the, according to the receipt, the cover E, third P PTG, Corey Smith, Viant cover. This is cover E, basically this is uh, uh, another Viant cover. And it's the cover for issue 44 of IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right, issue 44. And I think you guys know, if you've read the comic, exactly what happens in that issue. Yeah. So, that's there. Next up, we have... <laughs> well, I've got two now. And like I said, I did this just in case that one didn't come, but it did. I have another copy of Sonic 272. So I like to hit you, I'll get you 272. So now I have two copies. One I got as part of my sub new subscription, renewed subscription, and basically a backup just in case that renewed subscription didn't start in time. But I guess it's a good way to celebrate 200 issues as a subscriber, if you know what I mean. But 272, how about that? Then, next up, We have Sonic Universe Issue 74 Spark of Life Part 4 of 4. And I think I did do the review on it because I read it digitally. So now I have it physically, which means I now have all four issues of Spark of Life. Which also shows you that if I'm willing to finally get all these issues, I'm definitely going to stay up to par with what's going to go on with Worlds Unite. There we go. And then last but not least, we have a lot... I think this is cover G Viant by Lamar Wells of, Son of issue 75 of Sonic Universe. That's right, this is the uh, Lamar Wells um, issue. This is Trunks, if you will, his cover that he did for the 75th issue or 75th issue of Sonic Universe. Of course, there's other Viant covers as well. I think Raf Raffi Knight did one. Tracy Yardlin, I think, did the official one or something like that. But this is the Lamar Wells one. And the reason I got it is because of the fact that you'll see a similarity. You've seen this kind of pose before. But it's basically now redone to kind of be in tone with the new... Uh, soft red cause, soft rebooted uh, universe, and it, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, and it's not that I wouldn't have gotten the Sonic, the official new on newsstand subscriber one with Sonic pointing. I would have gotten that one, but I decided, you know what? I'd rather get one with everybody on it, and I did. So there you go. And I might download the cover just to print it out down the line and, you know, hang it in my room if I can. So, there we go. Issue 75 of Sonic Universe. Thus, all the comics I got from Midtown Comics. How about that? So, 
Uh, that's all I'm going to say, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed this package opening from Midtown Comics. Sorry for a little bit of the uh, rant. Well, not rant, but a little bit of the uh, um, off-topic um, uh, work talk, if you will. This is, and oh, by the way, if you want to look on the top here, this says it's issue, it's Viant edition 6 of 7.5. This is like the 6 one. And if you look online, you'll be able to see how many other Viant covers for 75th issue um, that they did. Or is that supposed to be the 6? Yeah. So you get the idea. But that's all the issues, but that's basically all the comics I got. So, with that said, again, I hope you enjoyed this package opening. Like I said, I'm sorry I kind of started out with the whole uh, work discussion deal, what was going on today, but a, a lot of people do that. So, uh, But that's all I'm going to say, folks. Let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like, and I will talk to you later. God bless. Take care.